A joyous ending to what could have been a tragic start to the Memorial Day weekend. A man and his two young children are safely back on land after being separated from their boat in the St. Johns River. We're happy to say that all three have been recovered. They're all doing well. The two children have been transported to the hospital as a precautionary to get them checked out. There was a large multi-agency search after an empty boat was spotted in the St. John's River. That father and his children, four and seven years old, they were separated by the strong current while going for a swim. And what we found out is the only one wearing a life vest, the four-year-old child. News for Jack's reporter Eric Abagne is live in Mandarin area. You spoke to a man who saw that frantic search. Yes, shortly before 7 o'clock tonight, JFRD got a call about uh, someone in distress in the St. John's River. We later learned that call came from a home in Mandarin right next to the river. Now, this was the scene when we arrived on Journey's End Road. Fire crews had gathered at the home where a family says they heard someone in the river yelling for help. Moments after we arrived, we learned three people uh, who jumped in the water from a boat had been rescued after the river current pushed them far away from the boat. Uh, this is the view from the river. This is the view of the river from the backyard of the family that called 911. Authorities located an anchored boat in the river, but no one was on board. They say all they found on board the boat were shoes, fishing poles, and a life vest. That, of course, triggered a search. A seven-year-old who was not wearing a life vest managed to swim to shore. The dad and a, and a dad and a four-year-old were nowhere to be found. This, of course, led to a massive multi-agency search for them, which continued. JFRD says the current pushed the father more than a mile down the river. He was found close to the Buckman Bridge, where he was finally rescued from the water. He was separated from the four-year-old, who was also pulled from the river. The four-year-old, uh, we're told was the only one wearing a life vest. Now, the family that called 911 says the first responders who uh, jumped into action were very aggressive in trying to locate those missing people. Uh, they got here real fast. They got a boat out quick. And uh, from what I've heard, uh, they found all three safe and alive. So that's good news. Did you see a boat out there at all? We, we saw a boat. Um, we don't know if that was theirs or not, but we did see a boat. Um, Did you see anyone in the water at all? Uh, we, we just heard the noise, um, and it's so hard with all the echoing on the river. It was hard to find a location. Now, the dad and his two kids are said to be okay. However, the two kids were taken to the hospital as a precaution. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.